everyone welcome to new updates of photo 18 in today's video we will discuss about the document module so we have a lot more changes in the document module so as we have a comparison with the previous versions of uh, Odoo we know we had an option to upload the document but that button is just replaced as new and we can just choose uh, the document to upload or we can just request a document from a user or we can just link a document or we can also use the spreadsheets and we can also upload the document in folder format okay so i'm just going to upload the file over here so here you would be able to find uh different files so let's move on to the uh drag i mean downloads option and let's choose the sale order and let me open that so as i just open that you can see that uh, um currently we have uploaded the file and if you want to upload the folders and all you can easily do that now we can also request uh the uh, file friend the user so as we have a file missing in expense you can just set the name of the file over here as missing expense and you can just request it from the particular user i'm gonna request it from azure interior and if you want to set the contact you can also set that so as we just choose the request requesting user you would be also able to find the users associated with this contact okay and uh, you can also set uh, the due date uh, and the activity and all. Now you can just click on request. If you want to set a particular message and all, you can set that. And we are just going to request it from plans. And uh, you can see we are just going to create a request over here. So as we just move on to the plans, uh, or as we just choose a plan over here, we would be able to uh, see that, uh, uh, yeah, a request is created for... Uh, the document uh, renovation architect so once the contact or the user uploads that we would be able to find that file over here and you can see that as we just made a request over here you can see a request is planned over here with uh, the remainder and if you want to preview that you can preview or you can also send it now so you can just click on send now and uh, that request will be sending over there now again click on a uh, new in order to link a document so I just want to link a document over here. So I'll be using the URL and uh, here you can provide the name of the, uh, yeah, name or as you just choose the URL, it will be automatically or the name will be auto populated over here. And you can just click on add and here you can see that, uh, uh, yeah, we can find, uh, or we can see that we can just upload the documents using the URL. And uh, the other thing is the spreadsheet. So if you want to create a spreadsheet or select a template, you can just go with that option also. And here you can see, you can just add different details over here. Uh, this is a demo spreadsheet and you can just set the details and all. Afterwards, you can just back to the uh, document and uh, you can see that we have just created a spreadsheet over here. And we have an option to upload uh, uh, or create a folder over here. So I'm going to manage a folder with uh, the finance. So I'll be naming it as finance. And here you can see we have created a folder. Now the other option that we can find or the new feature that we can find is that we can also get the chatter uh, over here by choosing this button. So as we just uh, choose this button, you can see the chatter is just popped over here. So if you want to just unselect the chatter, you can again click on the chatter icon and see you can see that it's invisible now. So in previous version of Odoo, we know we had a uh, different view such as campaign view, list view, and uh, activity view. And in Odoo 18, we have a new view or an option uh, to get the chat instantly from this icon. Now, uh, as you just move on to the configuration, um, Anton, it's uh, all as same as that of Odoo 17 itself or with the previous version. And the other change that you can find is that as you just select with a particular document, you can share this document with anybody. Like we can set the general access. The general access will be set for the internal users that are the users within the company. And uh, we can set the internal users uh, as simply a viewer, which means that they cannot make any further changes. Or you can set uh, it as an editor. So if you're just giving the internal user with the editor access, they can just manage with the uh, file and all. Like they can just make some changes within their file. And we can also uh, set the general access anyone with the link. So here you can see no one on this internet can access as we just set it as none. 
and we have other options as viewers and uh, you can see that uh, now uh, anyone on the internet with the link can view this okay so uh, if you're just setting the option as viewer they can view anyone in the internet can view this file and that will be discoverable so uh, you can also set the option as must have the link to access so if you are setting uh, the option as must have the link to access they should have the link to make changes okay and we have the other option as editor and here also you can see it can be set as discover discoverable or must have a uh, link to the access so afterwards you can uh, also choose a particular person or you can see as we just set the particular person over here you can also set it as a viewer or editor by setting the optional message and talk so if you want to send this you can just simply click on send file so that the document will be shared for the user and the user will be also receiving a mail in their inbox so these are the changes that we can find under the document module and we will have a thorough di discussion with the document overview in the upcoming uh, videos and that's all for today thank you for watching the video